It's been three years in the making, and local filmmaker is heading to the Chatham Islands to shoot the last few scenes of his movie, and he's taking The Wizard of New Zealand with him. Checking in for their two-week adventure, The Wizard of New Zealand's paying his bags, taking on his next on-screen project. <laughs> it's a, this is like a, a, a space. remarkable place and it, it'll be a wonderful film. You can see it having great potential. The Wizard and the Commodore has been the focus for producer Sam Miller for the past three years, travelling back and forth from Christchurch to the Chatham Islands, turning his idea into a documentary. We uh, we've filmed the, the Pit Island muster, um, a lot of the culture in, the, in Chathams and stuff people have never seen because um, the amount of time it's taken to do and um, also with the wizard going over there and the, um, the Chatham Islands Commodore who's a bit of a gem. The doco looks at what the Chatham Islands has to offer following the stories of our iconic wizard and the island's Commodore. Who is, lives in this wild remote spot and we should be staying there and it really is like camping out. Bent an old shed somewhere, something on the floor, no power, it's got an interesting place. But it's been a long time coming for the film. We were working on another project um, with a UK company, uh, which um, never came to fruition. And um, so we've, uh, but I found that the Chathams were so interesting that um, doing a documentary over there is just uh, really fun, you know. But there's also another special addition to the film. A message in a bottle, it's always got a sort of magical thing because you don't know where it's going to go. It's, it's better to hope than it is to arrive, but travelling is so exciting. The thought of these little bottles somewhere in the Pacific, wobbling around, making their way somewhere, we do, that's a nice thought. But if it is a good current, who knows, it may get there within the five or ten years. We'll be releasing these uh, messages in a bottle uh, for the kids over there and see where they go around the world. He's hoping the film will appear in international film festivals, showcasing the culture from New Zealand's Eastern Island. You can almost say fantasy documentary, but that just sounds wrong, but yeah, like that, you know, so it's, it's got an interesting element in it, yeah, which I think there's a lyrical element. We're going back to sort of the 1800s and how things were back then, you know. But for now, the film is set to hit cinema screens here and in the Chinnams by February next year. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.